Hi to God. I'd like to greet everyone with the peace of the Lord Jesus. I'd like to invite everyone that can to stand up in reverence to the reading of the Word of God. The Word of God, the last book, last chapter, Revelations, Revelations 22, verse 17. Revelations 22, verse 17. Revelations 22, verse 17. The text is here in the projection. I'd like to ask, therefore, that we read all together in a single voice. Let's read. And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let him that hears say, Come. And let him that is thirsty come. And whoever will, let him take the water of life freely. Amen. The church may be seated. I was sitting down there. And I think that in order to speak about the Lord Jesus, we would have to subdivide it in a couple of phases. I understand. Firstly, we would need to speak about his birth and then about his life and his ministry here and soon after we would speak about his death and also about his resurrection because the word says that when those sisters went to the sepulcher the, the stone was remover, removed and those men answered, asked, why do you look for the living in the midst of the dead? He is not here, not to God, but he has resurrected and for last, which is the object of our word here, of our message here, is to say that Jesus went up to heaven, but he left here a Holy Spirit, the Comforter, and He also left the promise that He would return one day to take a church. It's not a denomination, but a church that was washed and redeemed in the blood of it, in His blood, a church that was sealed with His Spirit church that is saying come Jesus come this church The intermediary child has prayed about Jesus, about this, the sounding of the fourth trumpet, trumpet, 
one of the prophets in the Old Testament said that this day is going to be the great and terrible day of the Lord. It's going to be a great day. It's going to be wonderful for the ones that are waiting for Him. But it's going to be terrible for the ones who are not waiting for Him. And this day, no one knows. It's in the Bible. Not even the angels. We spoke about it. The angels who are in heaven, they do not know. Not even the Son, Jesus, knows the day. But only God, the Father, knows. But now I imagine that there is going to be a moment. Um, the message is almost over. That the Father is going to come and it's going to tell the Son, Son, go and go pick up your church. Go take your people. Go bring here your redeemed, your church. And this is our plea. The Spirit and the church. And the bride say, says, come. And whoever hears may say, come. And whoever thirsts, come. And whoever wants may eat and drink of the living water freely because all this salvation is so that man would have this right that this day may be a wonderful day for, for him or her is freely the price was already paid on the cross of Calvary my child go and take it go take a church
Blessed be your name, Lord. Amen. Glory to God. There was uh, one occasion in which I heard uh, this uh, story from a pastor that had small children. And he went out with them on a trip. And they were just out for 15 minutes. And one of them said, Daddy, are we there yet? <laughs> no, my son. And still are. And they drove for a little longer. And you know what the question was? Daddy, are we there yet? There's still a little bit. Do the brethren understand? There's just a little bit left. And that. Uh, Bible says that uh, just a little bit of time in what it is just a little bit of time is there a definition is to wait for a very short time is waiting for a reduced time very short church we are leaving this time my brother that's what we hope the most. The Lord is going to, the Lord is going to come to Jesus and say, Go, son. Go take a church. Come, Arnata. Come. This is our cry. My beloved pastor is going to bring this message to a close here.
Glory to Jesus. Great is your name, Lord. The Lord was showing tonight a sister. And this sister, she is finding herself today ill. And the reason of her illness, which is a spiritual illness, is because she has a fad of uh, inappropriate food. The Jews said that the appropriate food, kosher food, right? Is the food that the Lord has set aside for them to eat. And spiritually speaking, the Lord has a special food because the Lord is our shepherd. He, he has green pastures and tranquil waters. And the sister, she has sought this other type of food which is not the pasture of the sheep, it's not the food that is, which is the Word of God, which is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, when He says that He is the bread of life. That's why she became ill. In order for her to be cured, she needs to eat off of the Word, not the Word of life, but the living Word. She needs to have an experience with the Holy Spirit. And therefore, she's going to be healed of this illness, this spiritual illness. And to identify this person that I'm speaking about, the Lord has shown, she has, she had the birth mark. And the Lord placed this birthmark from her birth that she, she would understand the Lord is speaking with her. She's a servant and she has been chosen from her birth. The Lord also has shown a woman, and this woman, she knows the laws and the traditions. She's, I can even say that she's an authority on the topic, and she has used this, the laws and the traditions in order to resolve a problem that is spiritual. And what is the meaning of this? Salvation is not by law not through works but salvation is by grace because you're saved by grace it's not something that comes from you through your knowledge and your authority but comes from the greatest authority the lord of lord and king of kings our lord and savior jesus christ and as soon as you understand this project of god for our life you will be blessed the lord also has shown a man and this man has already served the lord We usually say that he was in the active, he was a valiant val man of valor in the kingdom of God. But uh, recently he's been discouraged with our strength and is missing what he experienced in the, in the presence of the Lord in the past. And today, because of his own choices, he's now without direction. But tonight the Lord has invited him come close so that he can be seated at the table with the Lord and enjoy of everything that the Lord has set apart for him because he is the one who has rejected the table of the Lord now the Lord is bringing you again to sit at the table with him there's a song in Brazil that says you will be beside the king you'll be seated at the table with the king like Mephibosheth he has received an invitation from David in order to be at the table with the king. And you, my brother, you are being invited by the king of kings, Jesus Christ, in order to be seated at the table with him, in order to enjoy of this banquet, which is a spiritual banquet, and for healing, deliverance for your life. The Lord has also has shown a woman, and the project of God is being generated in her life. The project is not being become uh, Jesus has not been born in her life yet, but it, it is a process, and in this process she has been careless in, regarding her spiritual life, and she has even thought that it is necessary for other people to provide the resources for her spiritual life, but salvation is something that is individual. 
you have to take care of your own spiritual life. God has a project and in the care that you have with this call of the Lord for your life, His project will be born and will be realized and the name of the Lord will be glorified in your life. Amen. I'd like to invite the church to stand up and a person is going to glorify the Lord. Lord, I glorify your presence because we can say with great joy that we have not lacked anything because you are a God that is provided. We praise the Lord because know that we are going to be getting yet another week and surely you will be with us. You will guide us, direct our lives so that we may, Lord, remain on the Lord in this walk towards your eternity we praise you because you have sustained us Lord we exalt you Lord because you are the God of our life hallelujah and glory eternal glory to you in the name of Jesus the Lord also has shown a, a lady and this lady has heard that Jesus operates miracles and she is waiting for miracles to take place in her life and she said that there are many things in her life that are not working out and she needs a miracle in order for this to work out. And today she entered here in the house of the Lord with this hope to see a miracle happen. My brother, the miracle has already happened. There's a song that says, the miracle is my, my life in this place. The fact that you came to this place is already a miracle. And God is a God of miracles. If you believe in this God that brought you here tonight in this place, if you accept Him as your only sufficient Savior, because this is the greatest miracle, it is the miracle of salvation, all your problems will be solved. Because God is a God of love, of mercy. He is uh, an almighty God, has power to resolve all your problems. But the greatest miracle is your life here in this place. Because the Lord has the desire to perform this greatest miracle, which is the miracle of salvation, so that you can be with this church, with this people, that is one day is going to be with God in eternity. Amen. Let's bring the service to a close. Lord, we praise you. Thank you for you for this moment of fellowship, your grace and mercy that was poured out upon this place for these people that came up to your sanctuary, so that may all live this place transformed by the Holy Spirit knowing your project and preserving your word in their hearts and walking, Lord, in your presence without going straight either to the right or to the left. Give them a, a blessed week to your people with experiences and victories. We pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of say that the grace of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, our good and eternal Father, and the sweet and tender consolation of the Holy Spirit may be with the people of God now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. The church may be seated. The service has come to its end. If you, my brother and sister, have entered here, you need a, a special assistance, a clarification regarding what you heard and saw tonight. We are here at your disposal to give all the assistance. I'd like to inform everyone that we have service on Thursday in presence here at 8 p.m. You are, are, are invited Saturday at every day, every Saturday in early dawn at 6 o'clock in the morning and at 6 o'clock in the afternoon women meeting and 7.30 every Saturday and Sunday we have a service of glorification to the Lord and on Sunday morning 10.30 at Sunday school and at night another service of glorification to the Lord for the church we'd like to invite that every Friday through Zoom we have a uh, meeting on ABD on every Tuesday actually I'd like to remind that we are in the month of the families the first week is the week of I'm going to have early dawn this week and end this week so that every family an early dawn may have a prayer we lay on the hands so every month of June the brand new are going to receive invitation or assistance group of assistance because a project of God to bless every home 
and I wish everyone with the peace of the Lord Jesus.